The Queen has kept me waiting for quite some time. She must be speaking with Valar. Whatever happens, I will not let him wed my sister and become the new master of Riverspring. And I suppose you'll be wanting to marry her off to young Joffrey as well. And why not? You're so dull, my dear. Your Grace. My dear Alistair, thanks to the information obtained by Sir Valar's spies, we have made much progress in our attempts to reveal those who would dare to conspire against the Crown. For that, you have my gratitude, Sir Valar. Thank you, Your Grace. I give you both free reign to track down the man who calls himself the Mother Hen and those he protects. That outlaw is in possession of important documents. Find them and ensure that he and his followers suffer the punishment that they deserve. You must cooperate in order to complete this mission. Beware of the Mother Hen, who seems to have unexpected resources. I have located someone who will lead us to him, Your Grace. My blood seekers are ready and await me in the city to begin the hunt. Excellent. You will explain the situation to Sir Alistair once you have arrived. Honor my name, sirs. Your future depends on it. I'm counting on you. Your success will help me to judge your worth and your devotion to the Crown. Alistair, here you are at last. So what? My husband and I have been here for more than a week, and yet we are not complaining. But some damn things are stealing my herd. Don't delude yourself, Alistair. You can't possibly hope to impede my ascent. We shall see about that. In the meantime, let us concentrate on the task that the Queen entrusted us with. Who are the Bloodseekers that you spoke of before? My personal army. Unlike you, I have made something of myself these last 15 years. You don't really think I'm going to allow you to provoke me like that, do you? No matter. In any case, don't think you'll be seeing the Queen again. Threats? How charming. This side of the narrow sea. I imagine that they are the famous blood seekers whose merits you extol to the Queen. That is indeed them. Yonder Zeal and Wex, whom you see here, are my lieutenants. It is time to take care of the task that the Queen gave us. Apparently, it begins here, in this pottery workshop. What does the potter have to do with the man we seek? The Mother Hand does not carry this name by chance. The man has many protégés in King's Landing. 
One of them is a potter's apprentice here. He is named Harry Waters. He is a bastard. My spies reported that the Mother Hen's men watch him closely. Let's go rough him up a bit. It should get the Mother Hen to come out of his hole. Yon, tell us what you have learned. Young Harry is working here now, I am sure of it. On the other hand, he is not alone. The shop is full of apprentices. Old Jeremy loves the company of young boys from what I've heard. What shall we do with these other sweet lads? Kill them. I won't have them running around talking about what they saw. Then it would be best to start by not killing anyone. When swords do the talking, things quickly get out of hand. That Harry, does he know you? Does he have reason to be wary of you? Not yet. Why? Then let us simply ask to speak with him. Let us bring him to a private place and take care of this matter without touching his companions. Their deaths will bring us nothing. I always forget what a delicate constitution you have. But perhaps you're right for once. You three, stay back and let Alistair talk. If the potters get restless, you'll know what to do. Let's go. My lords, what an honor your visit is for me. I am Jeremy, Master Potter. I own this modest establishment. How might I be of assistance to you? Dennis, go fetch wine from the trier for their lordships. Move it! Yes, Master. The wine will not be necessary, thank you. We would like to speak with one of your apprentices, a certain Harry Waters. This is where he works, is it not? Harry? Yes, he works here, but has he done something wrong? No, 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 do not worry. One of my servants had a quarrel with him recently regarding a gaming debt. This situation is embarrassing and I would like to see it dealt with before leaving King's Landing. I would like to give compensation to your apprentice myself. That is very commendable of you, my lord. I'm certain that Harry will appreciate it. Unfortunately, he's uh, not available at the moment. He's not here, but I will tell him of your visit, never fear. Do not mock us, Potter. There's no need for that. What is wrong with you? This old goat is dripping with fear, Alistair. He won't give us the boy if we ask nicely. Is there something wrong, Master Jeremy? Dennis, don't get involved in this. Sirs, your hostile manner is unwelcome here. I must ask you to leave. Hold your tongue, boy, if you want to keep it. The only one we're interested in is Harry, Master. For the good of everyone here, you would do best to tell us where he is. Yes, yes, of course. He's just inside. Please forgive Dennis, my lords. He didn't think he was doing any harm. I'll have him whipped, yes. Now here's a person who knows when it's best to grovel. His way of crawling is edifying, Alistair. You should learn from it. Let us go find Harry, Valar. Hurry up and be done with this mess. Get back, murderers! You will not touch a hair on that child's head! Ah, the mother hen's lackeys. I wondered when you would finally join in the fun. Lord Waymer, what's all this? Who are these men? They're coming for you, Harry. Stay inside, you'll be safe. We'll see about that. Immediately. Warn the mother hen! Stay where you are, child. Run! We can't lose sight of him! Let's 
Follow the pillars. The kid left us behind. Hells! Complain as much as you want. It won't make him turn around. I hope you have a backup plan. Do not push me, Alistair. I am not in the mood. Let us return to the Potters. Perhaps my men managed to hold onto a prisoner. If so, we still have a chance to track them down. Servalar, were you able to catch the bastard? He managed to get away from us. What is the situation here? Other men of Mother Hen fell upon us. They scattered once they realized that the child is no longer here. Are there any survivors? Perchance they have some information. There's naught left of most of them except blood and guts. But one still seems to be in one piece over there. He will do. Ah! I'm searching for your master. The one who calls himself the Mother Hen. Tell me what you know. Go fuck yourself. You are not dead yet. Before you die, you will talk. The hen is hiding in an old inn that the men call the hen house. It's not far from here. Move it, we're almost done with this matter. May the master welcome this soldier to his light.
There is the hen house. Our hunt is coming to an end. Dizil, I hope that my blood seekers are ready. Yes, sir. They are surrounding the house as you ordered. They will kill any who attempt to flee. Perfect. I saw movement behind the windows. They know that we are here. They were expecting us. Hmm. <laughs> you smell that, Alistair? It's the smell of fear. The hen got his foot caught in our trap. Right now he must be cursing his own stupidity. You're drooling with pleasure. Why not? This is a moment to be enjoyed. My enemies are about to stumble and their fall will increase my power. It is sweet nectar to one who lives by his sword, Alistair. It is my honor. Attack! Sir Godric, there you are. Come! Come closer so that I may see your faces more clearly. Godric. So that is the name of the man hiding behind that ridiculous alias. Ah, the bastard tracker and his band of miscreants. Our dear queen ended up releasing her dogs. I'll make you regret your words, old man. It will be my pleasure to slit your throat. My master will know what happened. He will have your heads planted on spikes. And be certain that Cersei Lannister will not escape this unscathed. Her betrayal will not go unpunished. Queen Cersei officially named you as an enemy of the Crown. If there is a traitor amongst us, it's you. Poor madman. Do you not even know whom you attack? My master is none other than Lord John Arryn. The Hand of the King. No matter. It is the winners who write history. No one will ever know who came here. I will make sure of that personally. As for you, sir, whoever be your master, this is where your road ends. That is the Queen's will. Sir Godric, escape through the cellar. We will take care of these assassins. May the warrior protect you, my friend. We will meet again on the other side. Harry, follow me. He must not get away. Kill them all. Master above, have mercy on us. How many of them are there still? It's that Godric we need. Wex, get the others and go upstairs. Stop Mother Hen's henchmen landing on us again. My pleasure, sir. Let's go and take care of him.
You are very persistent, but don't think that I shall fall so easily. A little wildfire will perhaps cool your ardor. Wildfire? That pyromancer's piss burns everything it touches. A drop can transform a man into a human torch. I know, Wildfire Valar. It is nothing but another of my god's incarnations. And that is how the Queen declares war upon her king. Truly a bleak day for the Seven Kingdoms, the Rebellion, the Trident, all that we've suffered. All of that for this? You have tried to carry out your duty to the end, as we did ours. You will die loyal to your word and your duty. May this thought soften your end. I will pray for the Master to welcome you to his light. We are not finished, Alistair. It is the bastard's turn now. No, please stop by the seven. Do not hurt me. You certainly gave us the runaround. You had your chance, but it couldn't last. Why are you doing this? What do you want from me? What have I done? We are here because the Queen wishes it. Don't take it personally. Go on, Alistair. The honor is yours. Try to distinguish yourself for once. I'm sorry, my boy. I would have preferred for things to be different. I do not understand what could the Queen possibly want with me. It makes no sense. We all walk amongst the shadows, my boy. All will be clear once you reach the Master's light. Death is still death. Your hymns won't change a thing. I will do what I have to do in order to get back my titles, but in my own way. Keep your taunts for the underlings you keep company with. Don't chide yourself, Anister. I will obtain River Spring, like I obtained the Queen's favor. Everything is finished up there, Sir Valar. There's not a soul left alive in this whole bloody place. Good. Pillage as much as you want, but if you find letters or documents, let us know. My thanks, sir. I will let the other Bloodseekers know. We have nearly finished. And you've been nothing but an irritant to me, Alistair. I couldn't have taken much more of your company. 
Your words are as empty as your sense of honor. What do you know of my sense of honor? You, who ran away from your duty. Don't play that game with me. You know what I speak of. I see that you have still not gotten over your mistakes. Enough idle chatter. We need the documents that the Queen requested. I do not wish to remain here long. This chest is horrible. There's no way to open it without the key. I would bet my life that it contains something important. This would appear to be what we seek. Let us see what this Godric was hiding. Hmm, letters. So he wasn't lying. He did have orders from the King's hand himself. Ah. Here is something that will no doubt interest the Queen. What have you found? I was tracking down a girl who vanished just as I was about to close in on her. This document details what happened to her. It surprised me that she escaped me so easily. John Aaron was behind all of that. He sent her to hide in the North, and it would seem that this Godric was supposed to join her. John? Someone must go to the north and get that girl. The Queen wanted her head at any cost. You are my best spy. I would like you to go in person, take a few men and go to Castle Black. Pretend to be Godric Donnelly. That whore will more easily come out of her hole if she thinks she's found her protector. Send me a raven as soon as you have located her. I will go meet you and take care of her personally. Understood, Sir Valar. It is time that I return to the Red Keep to report to the Queen, Alistair. Don't think that you'll see her without me. Indeed. We will meet again at the entrance to the throne room.
husband and I have been here for more than a week. You certainly yeah, took your time. One second more and I was going to see the Queen alone. You didn't think I'd give you that pleasure, did you? We're off. That sounds awful. But don't you have any guards to keep the thieves away? Why not? You're so dull, my dear. Ah, my brave knights have returned. Your Grace, the mission you gave me has been accomplished. Furthermore, here are the documents that you asked for. Perfect. I note that you managed to cooperate finally. Let me see that. So that wretch is in the north. Good. Now, let us speak of you, sirs. I have had news of your hunt's progress. Your escapades throughout the city are already a source of much talk. I would have appreciated a bit more discretion. Forgive me, there were many men standing between us and our objective. I see. I shall attribute that to your inexperience in the matter, sir. Do not let this happen again. I'd rather not have to get rid of you. But after all, this commotion revealed our enemies, did it not? Without that, I imagine that you would not have found out about this mother hen. On that subject, I heard tell that Lord Alistair insisted on resolving matters peacefully at the Potters. Is this true? Indeed. A massacre would have been useless. I deemed that we could arrive at our ends without killing innocents. I appreciate your frankness. But those Potters sheltered our enemy's accomplice. They were guilty of treason, even if indirectly. I would have liked for them to pay the price. Really, I imagine it would have been better to spare them, if only to avoid drawing too much attention to this whole affair. What matters is that our enemies have been destroyed for good. Consider it done, Your Grace. The Mother Hen, whose true name is Godric Donnelly, will cause you no more problems. On the other hand, you must know that the man served the hand of the King himself. If he hears of this, his reaction may be detrimental to your cause. Do not worry, my good fellow. Lord John Arryn will learn nothing of the kind. The hand of the King is dead. I heard of it just a moment ago. What happened? He was... struck down by illness. His intrigues and power died with him. I see. And? Concerning River Spring, Your Grace? Have you made your decision? Not yet, sir. Your collaboration is not yet finished. Your Grace, I had thought to fulfill my contract by eliminating the enemies of the Crown. You thought wrongly, Sir Alistair. In light of the letter you brought to me, there still remains one person for you to find. The documents that you've brought me will enable us to continue our search for the young girl that you allowed to escape, Sir Valar. This information leads me to believe that she was sent north, somewhere close to Castle Black. Her name is Jane Greystone. I want you to return her to King's Landing, dead or alive. Use whatever means you like. I care not. It is now up to you to prove how determined you are to become the future master of River Spring. Come back to me once you have taken care of the young girl. Not before. You may go. Unfortunately for you, Alistair, one of my men has already left for the wall. That is a race you will not win. while my good master rots in the earth. Well, well, has the hungry lioness found herself a new lackey? Are you speaking of the queen like that? In her own palace? We are in the Red Keep, young man. You must enjoy living dangerously. What is your name? My name is Uthor of the Vale. I am, I was, a knight under John Arryn, the Hand of the King. At least until that whore from the Westerlands killed him. Careful. Such talk would be ill-advised. I will say what must be said. She is a murderer and a traitor plotting against her king. I dare to say it, and it seems I am the only one here who does. Such accusations would cause you much grief if they were to be heard by the wrong ears. I advise you to curb your rashness for your own good. I swore an oath to serve John Arryn with my life. 
I was unable to give it to him in battle, but I can devote it to condemning his assassins. It is my duty. Your fate is in your hands, my lord. I hope you do not live to regret it. Sir Alistair, what are you still doing here? I would have thought you'd be moving heaven and earth to find the Greystone girl. I am, Your Grace. But first I must tell you of Sir Uther Donnelly's impropriety. He spoke of you in a manner that was inappropriate. Ah, oh, Sir Uthor, yes. A sad case of excessive loyalty. The poor boy holds me responsible for the illness of our late lamented John Arryn. I do not know what fantasy has overtaken him. I imagine that he allowed his pain to overshadow his reason. As for my bore of a husband, he pays no attention to what is said, even within his walls. He is incapable of maintaining order, or even his queen's dignity. I find it hard to believe that no one came forth to defend you, Your Grace. Oh, of course. Sir Valar immediately offered to silence him in the most violent manner. But I do not wish to see the young man hurt for such a trifling thing. My queen, with your permission, I wish to attend to the matter of Sir Uther Donnelly. You think that you might be more diplomatic than your half-brother? Hmm. Yes, I suppose so. The Hand of the King was very much loved by his people. And our differences were well known about court. It would be unwise for me to be too severe towards Sir Uther. That would simply lend credence to his foolish words. I should be able to find a more elegant solution. Sir Uther might find it in his best interest to humble himself, perhaps even publicly. Really? You intrigue me. Go ahead, Sir Alistair. So, nut. No doubt you come back to carry out vile deeds for that whore you kneel to. You are mistaken, Sir Uther. The Queen does not wish to hurt you. Quite the contrary. She has already done much to spare you a tragic fate. What do you mean? Your talk does her no more harm than the buzzing of a mosquito. However, it has not gone unnoticed. Some people are becoming annoyed. Such as my half-brother, Sir Valar, for example. He has a notion that your death would distinguish him in the eyes of her grace. Sir Valar, eh? <laughs> He's a swine, and unworthy of such a title. Let him come. It would be an honor to defend my lord's memory. No, I don't think so. The queen does not want any bloodshed. Valar will not come for you in the light of day. Perhaps bandits will slit your throat in a dark alley, or you will fall dead drunk into Blackwater Rush. Valar is very inventive. One thing is certain. There will be no glory in the death he plans for you. Listen to my advice. Leave this city. Why are you telling me all of this? I do not want my bastard brother distinguishing himself in the eyes of the Queen, particularly in such a sordid manner. I have my reasons for this, but they're no concern of yours. And then you're young and foolhardy. Your only crime is being too loyal to your deceased lord. That does not deserve such punishment. I see. Perhaps it is time for me to leave this nest of vipers after all. Thank you for your honesty, sir. All was resolved without too much injury. The Queen should be pleased. Here is my valiant knight. You certainly brought a little wisdom to that young man. And in doing so, you appear to have forgotten your duty. Sir Uther has left, Your Grace. No blood was spilled, as you wished. Admittedly. But what of the insults to my person? You were supposed to make him lose face, push him to commit a public act of contrition. Instead of that, he leaves for his lands, his head held high. 
his foul slurs festering in his wake. I am sorry, Your Grace. I served you poorly. It is neither the first nor the last insult that my position will oblige me to bear. The important thing is that he has gone. But I had hoped for more from you. And now, pray accomplish the task that I gave you. I will not be satisfied with half measures this time. Bring me the girl. Very well, Your Grace. You'll be wanting to marry her off to young John. And why not? You're so dull, my dear. Sir Alistair Sarwick. If I could have a word with you for a moment. Who am I speaking with? I am Lord Arwood Halton, Master of Castlewood. Your family and mine have long been friends. Yes, I have heard tell of the Haltons of Castlewood. What can I do for you? I've heard rumors that you've had difficulty finding your brother, Garwin. Did you get the help you had hoped for from the Queen? More or less. I am surprised that it is public knowledge. The Queen doesn't seem inclined to flaunt her arrangements. You will quickly find that it is difficult to keep secrets inside the Red Keep. There are far too many inquiring ears about. On that subject, what say you to moving this conversation elsewhere? I have a residence in the city. We may speak freely there. I have vital information regarding your brother. <laughs> 